Hi, I'm Brian Ernie for SNY.TV, and this is The Baseball Show, presented by Pepsi Max. I'm joined by SNY.TV analyst Frank Catalanato. Thanks for joining us, Frank. Good to be here. So we hear tons of buzzwords when hitters are struggling, but chief among them always seems to be balance. A guy's lunging out in front. Uh, why is balance so important to a swing? Balance is so key because if you're off balance, you have nothing else, uh, you're, you don't have power in your swing. So if a guy is lunging out in front, all he has left are his hands right here. If a guy stays back, gets his foot down, has the, 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 the weight on his back foot, now he's going to be able to drive the ball. So even if he makes contact and he's off balance, there's no chance that's going to be good, strong contact. No, there's no way you can make good, strong contact if your weight is already gone and your hands are out here. Talk about pitch recognition. Um, does, if you're so far out in front, is this going to hurt you as far as curveballs, sliders, changeups go? Absolutely. And that was one of the things in my career. When I struggled, it was usually that I was out in front. I was a front foot hitter. And if I got my weight out there too soon, my head moved. Watch as I go out like this. My head just moved almost a foot. And now I'm making a 90 mile an hour pitch, a 95 mile an hour pitch. And when your head moves, you're not able to pick up the spin on those, on those pitches. So the breaking balls, the curve balls, and the sliders are very tough to recognize. All right, well, let's go and take a look at someone who's struggled with this over the course of the early going of the season. It's Ike Davis of the Mets. Um, on the left here, you see Ike is way out in front, front side bailing out. On the right, you see him about to square up that pitch, drive the ball the other way. So, Frank, take us through these swings. Well, you can see on the left, his back foot already is dragging with him. His front knee is bent, and he's collapsed his whole swing. If you see his upper half, his upper half is leaning over. His hands are out. He hasn't even made contact with the ball yet, and he's all the way out like this. So this is not going to be a ball that's hit hard. You look on the right here, his he's a little more straight up. Um, he, his, his front knee is not bent as much, and his back leg, he's in his back leg. You can see the power. He's driving through that back leg, and he's going to square that one up and hit it a long way. So Ike's made this adjustment to a large extent over the past couple of weeks, but what can he do to make sure it's a consistent adjustment that can sustain him the whole year? Well, a great hitting coach of mine that I had for a long time, Rudy Jaramillo, he always told me, make sure you get that front foot down early. So what Ike has to do is he's got to go in the batting cage and he's got to practice on picking it up and putting it down. That way his weight stays here as opposed to lunging out in front. Now, final question, what role do his hands play in the swing? They're huge. Uh, on the left here, you can see his hands are rolling already. They're out there like this. What you have to try to do is stay inside the baseball. And what I always used to do is take the knob of the bat and try to stay it. Uh, stay inside if the ball's out here. What it's going to allow you to do is get that extension out front, get that backspin, and the ball's going to take off. Great. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Brian. Thank you for joining us on the Baseball Show presented by Pepsi Max.